Hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Jorge or George? Uh, Jorge, teacher. George. Uh, Wait a second. What did you say? No problem. No problem. Jorge or George? Either or. Okay. Uh, I, my feel, I feel me. Better teacher. You feel better. Oh, that's good to hear. How do you feel, Anna? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Sorry. How are you doing today? I am working in my house bueno. because I am capacity. Today in um, capacity, like you today are working in, from home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, better. Oh, you feel better. That's good, and and hot here too. So it's good to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It just take like twenty four hours, and then you feel better. Thanks. <laughs> good. Yeah. How are you doing? Hi. <laughs> preparing for the class. Oh, good. Taking some clothes, cleaning the, uh, uh, washing the dishes, uh, finish the okay, uh, the diner. Oh. Ready. I'm ready. Good. <laughs> you you already finished your dinner and you are ready for the class. That's Ready. good. Yes. <laughs> nice. Good, good, good. And teacher. Yes. What is your how was your day? It was it was really good. How yeah. many classes? Cool. I didn't, I just, this is the only class that I'm teaching. Oh, good. Yeah. So, yeah. But um, I take care of my grandma. She's 93 years old. So um, that's kind of my job. That's why I'm just, for now, I'm just teaching one hour. Because okay. um, she, she cannot walk by herself. So you have to give her everything and then uh, when she wants to take a shower, I do everything for her, so, yeah. You are like, uh, como se dice, cuidador? Cuidador, va? Yeah, like a, yeah, like a nurse. Like como, a nurse. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I bring her to the doctor's appointments and everything, so. See. It's so tired. Yeah, sometimes it is. She's, uh, she does a good job. She helps yes. a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Adriana and Edwin and Fatima and Peratriz and Ana Guerra. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening, and here, teacher. Good evening, and Elina, Fatima, Abigail, and Fatima, Virginia. How many Fatimas do I have? Three? <laughs> yeah. Fatima Emperatriz, Fatima, Abigail, and Fatima, Virginia. Good. <laughs> I have a lot of Fatimas. How's everything going with the platform? Again, the platform. Como van en la plataforma? Good. Nice. 
good, good, good. Okay. So I have 13 students in the class. And we're going to be starting soon. Just one more minute for the ones who are getting ready. <laughs> Eugenia. Hi, good evening. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. It was a great day today. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> there is always something good. Thank you. So, yeah. We have to see something positive of our day because sometimes we just see the negative part. So at least one positive thing. I think you should share one positive thing that happens today, no matter how good or how bad your day was. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, we're gonna start our class and we're going to remember uh, what we were studying the previous classes. ¿Qué hemos estudiado en la clase anterior? ¿Qué se recuerdan? What do you remember? From yesterday. From yesterday. Mm -hmm. mm. The verb to be in past. The past. There are there. What and there. There is yeah. and there are. There are there is. There uh huh. Exactly. We were studying there is, there are, and the verbs in past. Good. So do you remember that? Okay. There is. Do we use it for singular or plural? Singular. Uh, singular. Singular. Mm -hmm. That means one. What about uh, uh there are? Plural. For plural. Perfect. Okay. Good, you are ready to go. And uh, we're going to start our class today. Oh no, I don't want to share that. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Okay, good. Oh, sure. <laughs> Okay, the, the, the box, the gray box. What did you say, the gray box? Yes, we can see the, the, the screen. Okay, can you see my screen? What is the date and uh, the topic for today? I can see this. Uh... A great block. Okay. I want to stop uh, sharing my screen because um, it is not sharing my screen. Yeah. I think, wait a second, I'm going to do something. There is some noise. Okay. Can you hear me now? And I want to try to share my screen. What about now? Can you see my the screen? Same. It's the same. Yes, it's still the same. Uh -oh. Okay, last try. Hopefully it works. I don't know why it's not working. Now? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, we're going to start and we're going to say the date. 
Today is Wednesday, Wednesday July, July 28, 28, 28, 28, 2021. 2021. 2021. Mm -hmm. And yesterday was Tuesday, July 20, Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. July 27th, 2021. Perfect. Good job. And today we're going to have the topic of prepositions of place. And we're going to do quantifiers and how much and how many. So we're going to use those prepositions. So we're going to see some places too. Like, what about, um, do you remember some places that we can say? Which places? Which, pla which places do we have in town? Like, if you go to the seat, which places can you see? The gym, parks, parks, restaurant, school, mm -hmm. downtown, Horse. skate park, bank, bank. drugstore, mm -hmm. drugstores, park. Park, park, pharmacies, good Mall, job. Yeah. Grocery mm -hmm. store. Store, grocery store, shopping malls, many things. Good. Good job. So you are ready. Okay, we're gonna go to the next one. And um in this one, this conversation is like to review a little bit of there is and there are, and we're going to see how many and how much. So we're going to have a review and introduce a new topic. Okay. And you can listen to me first. I'm going to read it first. And then uh, you can uh, read it later. Okay. And it says, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty safe. And this is an, a conversation between Nick and Pam. And Nick said, how do you like your new apartment? And Pam answered, I love it. It's downtown, so it's convenient. Nick said, down? Is there much noise? And Pam answers, oh no, there isn't any. I live in the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place used around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually park on the street. Is there any crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, hold down. That's my car alarm. I'll call you later. So probably, <laughs> Something is yes. happening, it is not that safe. safe. <laughs> yeah, good. So we're going to go through and we're going to see when I try to see the bottom of the screen, uh, my computer takes me to the next one. So can you see any there is and there are in the conversation? Do you think they use it? Yes. Yes. Where is it? Don't understand. For example, there. is there is there much noise? Uh huh. There isn't okay. any. Uh -huh. There isn't any. So, do you remember that we were um using any? Any is for any. negative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Exactly. Very yeah. near. Yes. So, and what about near. there is? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I met you, Anna. Anna Hercules. So, a lot of fun. There isn't, there is, that is the contraction. There is an excellent Korean place. What about another one? Help me. Are you there? They're near. Don't they well, the they're near mm -hmm. the there aren't many. Well, there aren't many parking garage. 
but I usually park on the street. Uh -huh. Are there? Me is salte uno, no, I jump is there any crime? Are they? They. Ah, no, sorry, sorry, are, you. Mm -hmm. So, no. and is there any crime? Any crime? Yeah. No, is really safe. Hold up. That my mm -hmm. car alert. Yeah. I Good. call you later. Good. Thank you. So those are the ways that we can use there is and there are. And today we're going to use uh, how much, like this one, how, how many, and um, yeah, I think is there much, and much. We're going to use, what can you see when you use is much in here, much noise, and is how many restaurants? What can you see on that on that one? Count and uh, account nine. Nouns. Nouns. Uh huh. Much. We use much when we cannot count. Like noise, account. we cannot no count. count. Mm -hmm. no we count. can. It is uncountable. And many when we can count like one two three like restaurants and things yeah. good okay now i'm going to ask i want to ask two people to help me reading and then later we can um ask for people who wants to do it and i want to go in order because then it's easy and, and it is not my much noise voy a preguntar a dos personas para que lo hagan Y voy a pedir a Ana Guerra y a Eugenia Asunción. Hey. Hey. Okay. Who wants to be Nick and who wants to be Pam? Uh, I can be Pam. Okay. okay. You're going to be Nick. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye. More drama. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There isn't any. I live in the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean play just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually park on the street. Is there any crime? Crime? No, it's pretty safe. Oh, hold on. That's my car alarm. I call you later. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna say convenient. 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 Mm -hmm. convenient. convenient. And um yeah, <clears throat> crime. The E la E al final no suena. Crime. Mm. Con crime. M. Mm. Crime. Mm -hmm. crime. Crime. Exactly. Yeah. This one, hold on. It's like hold on, but it's like when you put it together, if you put a hold and on together, it sounds like hold down. When hold you down. hear it in the conversation, uh-huh. Hold, hold, hold down. That's my hold car down. alarm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's like together. Like a little bit lazy, not a saying, but word by word. Okay, good. Teacher. teacher. Uh -huh. uh, yesterday you talked about uh, the use of any. We can mm -hmm. use in interrogative and negative, but is there any crime? As is interrogative. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Negative and interrogative. <laughs> interrogative yeah. yeah. And some we can use it for affirmative. For affirmative yeah. Yes. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> no worries. Yes. Okay. But as soon as you can use it in affirmative too. Any. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there are like kind of a special cases that you can use it. Okay, someone else wants to participate? 
you can raise your hand or tell me, 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 because I cannot see all of you. Okay. Ana Hercules wants to, and who else? Oh, it's good to see you, Al Albury. Albury. ¿Cómo pronuncia su nombre? Oh. Albury. Albury. Oh. <laughs> Albury. Albury. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Who else wants to participate? Ana okay. is ready. Who else? Another person. Una persona más. Ah, uh, Albery, Albery, Albery. Me sale más. <laughs> Albery. Okay, Al en Ana Hércules. Okay. So, good. Okay. You can. I'm so Nick. you can be. You can be Nick, and then uh, Ana can be Pam. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. How do you like do your you... new apartment? Ana, I love it. Is... Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. No. Okay, I'll bet you. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's convenient. 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 Mm -hmm. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live in the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't any parking garage, but I usually park on the street. Is there any crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold down, that's my car alarm. I call you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Un aplauso para todos. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're going to go to the next one. Any questions about the vocabulary? Alguna pregunta acerca del vocabulario? Oh, claro. Me okay, teacher. Gonna... Yes, um, I cannot see who say me. Me, Joanna. No, yes, Joanna. Me, mama. Yes. Tell me, Joanna. Uh, what is noise? Is there much noise? Noise? Noise is ruido. Like uh, when you don't turn off your microphone and there is a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Noise, okay. it's ruido. Mm -hmm. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm going to go Teacher. to the next one. Yes? Teacher, I have a question yes, about the pronunciation of uh, garage. Is, is in, in plural, is garages or garage? Garage. Garages. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, esta es otra palabra difícil de pronunciar, garages, it's like weird. Okay, okay. <laughs> sí. thank you. Good, you're welcome. So now we're going to go through the prepositions. You already know the prepositions of place, right? Yes, no, more or less, yeah, okay. So we have the first one, we're gonna see a map that you already have seen, if you already work on those. So we're gonna have the first one is uh, across from. What that means? ¿Qué significa across from? Enfrente de. No, al otro lado de. Um, al otro. Mm -hmm. la, al otro street. lado <laughs> de. Okay. Como across from uh, the parking lot, across from the... Enfrente de, enfrente de, la, enfrente de o al otro lado. Enfrente, it can be enfrente de o 
across al otro lado de. Ah, ok. Al otro lado. Pero es in front of, es más enfrente de. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, the next one, next two. ¿Qué significa de, next two? A la par de. Al lado de. de o a la par de. O después de. Después de, no. no. Al lado de o a la par de, next two. Ok. Ok, then the next one. What is this one? On the corner of. A la vuelta de la esquina. En la esquina de. Ajá. Y nosotros diríamos a la vuelta de la esquina, pero puede ser en la esquina. Oh. En la esquina de. Esquina. Uh -huh. Between. En medio. Entre. Entre. Uh -huh. En medio o entre dos cosas. Uh -huh. oh. Entre, en medio de. Mama. Between. Oh, yeah, yeah. Between by, por. Okay, wait a second. I have to. I want to go for, okay, by, no es, por, se dice en, en español, en español como, como por, de, por, ahí hecho, por uh -huh. <ríe> pero by es otro que decimos cerca de, uh -huh. mm. Bye. Cerca de. Cerca de. Bye. Cerca de algo. Y, y este hey, otro. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. Near. Yeah. No, no cabe como pre preposition. Near es similar a bye. Cerca. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's another Perfect. preposition. Ah, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Enfrente de. Ajá. Enfrente. Enfrente de. Okay, now we're going to repeat. Across from. Across from. Next to. Next, Next to. to. On the corner of. On the corner of. Between. 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 Bye. Bye. In front of. In front of. Ya. Este, muchas veces decimos of, pero este se dice of. In front of. In front of. No, no, no necesitamos decir of. Este va of. of, of. In front of. In front of. Ajá. El que se dice of es como el repelente que uno se echa para los zancuditos. O, o el, sí, autan creo que hay también que se llama of. Este sí es of. Con o y doble f. Pero este es of. On the corner of. In front of. Ok. In near, podemos decir también ese es otro cerca. Uh -huh. Near my house, cerca de mi casa. That's another preposition. There are a lot of prepositions, but these are like the most common prepositions that we use. Ok. Any questions about it? I want us. Okay. I'm gonna go to the next one. I have to erase these ones because if not, I bring it to the next one. Okay. 
Now we have different places here. As you see it, you already saw them probably. And we have, what are the places that we have? We can start public library. Library. Gas, gas station. station. Mm -hmm. First Avenue. This is a shopping center. Shopping center. Electronic. 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 Post office. Post office. office. Your Your gym. 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 Uh, oh, they, 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 store. 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 And here we have the main street. Main street. Main street. A park. On Avenue. Uh, Avenue. Second Avenue. Uh -huh. And this is a park. This is the First uh, Avenue. First, first Avenue. Avenue. The First National Bank. First National first Bank. Bank. Princess, Princess Grocery, Grocery Store. store. Parking Plaza Hotel. King Plaza, King Plaza Hotel. Hotel. Plaza Hotel. Hotel. Mm -hmm. Hotel. Yeah. Pine Street. Pine. Pine, mm -hmm. Pine, Pine Street. Pine Street. Pine Street. Pine Street. Pine Street. Maple Avenue. Maple, Maple Avenue. Avenue. Elm Street. Elm Street. 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 Rosa's Restaurant. So I think we have a Rosa restaurant. France Cafe. France Cafe. Jamison Hotel. Jamison Hotel. Jamison Hotel. Mom and Pops Grocery. Mom and Pops Grocery. Mom and Pops Grocery. Parker's Drugstore. Parker's Drugstore. And tops shoes. Tops shoes. Uh-huh. Okay, mm -hmm. now we can uh, use the prepositions. What about what can I say between um like in all those places? Where is the post office? What can I say using the prepositions? The post, post office. office. Where is the post? The post office. Cross the park. Uh -huh. the, the post, post office, office is, is across in the corner from of, the park. Mm -hmm. in it's the corner across the of park. Main Street and First Avenue. Uh huh. Or is on the corner of the First, the corner First Avenue. Avenue. First Avenue from the park. Main Street. Good. What about uh, the uh, ma, 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 let me see. I want to choose Rosa's restaurant. Where is Rosa's restaurant? Mm. Rosa's restaurant is across from Maple Avenue. On Maple it's Avenue. It's across from uh, the park. It's on Rose. the corner of Pine Street. On front in Plaza Hotel. Uh huh. In front of uh, Plaza Hotel, um, and it is next to next to, next to what? Next to Frank and Frank's Frank's Cafe. Cafe. Frank's Cafe. Frank's Cafe. What about the across from Jimison Hotel? Uh huh. Across from uh huh. Jimison Hotel. Jamison. Jamison. I think it's Jamison Hotel. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Good. Good, okay. Now that you already know all the prepositions and you're good at saying, you are ready. You are ready to practice. So we can make some sentences using the uh, places and we can use as across from, next to, on the corner of, between, by, in front of. Which is between? What about uh, the park? Is between what? No, the um, park drugstore. Is between what? Is between mom, mom and, and pop 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 and top shoes. Top shoes. Mm -hmm. Good job. So, what about the gas? Uh, the first avenue shopping center. Do you know how to say atrás? 
Behind. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's behind the gas, uh -huh. the gas station. The gas station. Mm -hmm. Good. And the gas station is next to the public library, library. or in front of. Mm -hmm. In front of. In front shopping of a uh, um, shopping center. Good. Good. Now, if you want, you can take a picture. I want to move. And then you can take a picture and get ready for practicing with your classmates. Or... Yeah, okay. I want to stop sharing and then you can go to the, the breakout room. How can we say, how are we going to say? We say, uh, the shopping mall is in front of, and we say, we make, uh-huh, in front of, between, so we say the places that we want to say. So, um, do you want me to make an example and write it down or you are ready? Ready? Okay. So I sent the map where you can see and you can say between or in front of. And I wanna, I think actually I wanna send the picture of uh, of the prepositions. Do you have the prepositions? Tienen las preposiciones? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna send you to the breakout room in a second. Ready? Ready. Set, go. Um, How is everything going? Hello? Oh. Uh -huh. hello? Hi. Hi. Do you know what to do? We, we make sentence. We make sure. sentence. Yeah. Uh, okay. Are you already done? Um, yeah. I have only three <laughs> sentences. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yep. Um, 
already finished. Any questions? Mm, Any questions? No. For me, no. Okay. No. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Aquí vamos allá a la imagen. Creo que la compartieron. Bueno. Yourself? Está solito, Jorge? Sí, teacher, I am only. No. Lo voy a asignar a otro. No. All right, teacher. Two. Yeah. You are in our... Dos veces. Es que no se une lo que, lo que supuestamente tienen que unirse. ¿En qué grupo? En el ocho estaba. Ahorita le asigno a alguien. No. Ya le mandé a alguien. Vaya, ti. Sorry. <risa> no problem, Tisha. No problem. Te dejaron solo. A la bolsa. <risa> <risa> ah. They told me that uh, they are already fixed the problem. No ha revisado su certificado. Eh, no, no, no lo he verificado. Eh, hoy lo voy a verificar. Mañana ah, le... Va. Porfa, porque me dijeron que ya lo habían, ya lo habían solucionado. Oh, ok. Ok, okay bye. Bye, bye teacher. Un minuto bye. más. Bye, bye. Bye, bye teacher. Okay, where is mom and pop's grocery? Esmeralda. Good. <laughs> she has a problem with her microphone. You cannot hear me? Yes, I can hear okay. you. Okay, good. Uh, where is mom and pop's grocery, Esmeralda? Uh, next to uh, the doctor. Yes. It's your turn. Ask me a question. Okay. Now when I close the breakout rooms. Okay. Bye, see you. Bye, teacher. <laughs> Good. Everybody is here. I don't see Astrid today. Mm -hmm. Astrid. Astrid, Astrid, I, have... <laughs> I haven't seen her. Hopefully nobody's sick. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're going to continue with the presentation and I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to make it big. Good. So today we're gonna see the quantifiers and then we have um, uh, count nouns, quantifiers and non-count nouns. So that means, mm -hmm, the quantifiers, es como los cuantificadores, cuando podemos, podemos contar. For example, mm -hmm, quantifiers. For example, the ones that we can count are 
like apples, pears, uh, restaurants, uh, windows. We can count many things. But there are some things that we cannot count one by one. Like, for example, your hair, you cannot count it one by one. Or sugar, paint, like most liquids, we cannot count them. If they are like, like water, we cannot count the water, oh, the water bottles. Mm -hmm. So yep. you know, the ones that we can count, we have a few, like a few apples, a lot of pears. A lot of pears. Many, mm -hmm. many, many pineapples. Pineapples. Uh, and Pineapple. any watermelons. But any we can use milk. places too, mm -hmm. like Amen. or parts of the house. We can count win count windows, uh, doors, uh, Door. um, mirrors. Uh, what else we can count in the house? Like beds, chairs, chairs mm -hmm. tables. There are many things that we can count. I did it with uh, um, some fruits because I like fruits. But we can do it with many those. things that we can count, like shoes. Uh, mm -hmm. We can count some animals. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things that we can count. And then these ones, mm -hmm. the non-count nouns is Any like a little of, of, like a little of, mm -hmm. like um, a little of sugar. Uh -huh, a little of sugar. Because this is like for the ones that we can count, para los que podemos contar usamos a few, pero para los que no podemos contar usamos a little. Many mm -hmm. And a, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of many. A lot of pain. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Podemos usarlo para ambos, como any. A lot of, eso se pueden usar en los que podemos contar y los que no podemos contar. Pero many and much, that's totally different. Many, we can use many just for things that we can count. Much, lo podemos usar solo para los que no podemos contar. En veces es un poquito confuso porque decimos, how much money do you have? El dinero lo podemos contar, pero si hablamos de dinero en general, es muchísimo. No sabemos cuánto dinero en general hay en todo el, el mundo. Entonces, por eso decimos, how much money do you have? But it, that's an example, no that, that uh, I'm like asking you how much money do you have. That doesn't your matter. <laughs> how much money do you have in your wallet? And sometimes we can count it. Algunas veces lo podemos contar. Pero no podemos decir how many money do you have. Tiene oh. que ser how much. Uh -huh. Siempre. Uh -huh. Siempre. Yeah, understand. Uh -huh. understand. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's like, we, why don't we say many? How many money do you have? If you can count one dollar, two dollars, three dollars. But it's like some rules. I don't, have, rules. I don't, I don't yeah. have much money. I don't have much money. Actually, I sometimes I don't have any money mm. in my pocket. Like, oh. it's kind of, yeah, because it's weird. Now you mostly use the cards. Casi siempre se usa. Siento que es más seguro tener una tarjeta que no usar el, el dinero, pero sometimes you need it. Yeah. Okay. But, but yeah. you use, but you use many uh, money mm. in the pocket. No, you use much. Uh huh. How much money do you have in your pocket? Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay, I don't have any money and I don't have any pocket. Okay, okay good. So we're going to say a few apples. A few a apples. apples. A lot of pears. A lot of pears. A lot of pears. 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 Mm -hmm. Many pineapples. Many, Many pineapples. pineapples. Many watermelons. Many watermelons. Many watermelons. A little of sugar. A little of sugar. A little of sugar. A little of of. 
Lo une. A little. A little of sugar. Uh -huh. A little. A lot of paint. A lot of, A lot of paint. A lot of paint. Match floor. Flower. 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 Flowers. Match flower. 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 Any, any coffee? coffee? Yeah, I didn't have any coffee today, but that's not true. I have a lot of coffee today. <laughs> I, okay, I have three cups of coffee today. Three cups of coffee? Yeah. I like coffee. I started a diet and that helped me to not to feel hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tisha, I have a question. When go ahead. When in you use uh, a pinch of a pinch of salt, a pinch of um, uh -huh. a pinch of es como un poquito de un poquito de sal, okay. un poquito de azúcar, un poquito de café. Like, bueno, café no lo hacemos, pero es más con azúcar y sal. A pinch of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. A pinch is like a como una pizca, ¿no? Ajá, como ajá, mm -hmm. una pista, yeah. un poquito. Uh -huh. Yeah, good. Okay. So, these are for the nouns that we can count. Estos son para los que podemos contar y esto es para los que no podemos contar. Como por ejemplo, el dolor. I have a lot of pain. Pain sin T. Pero pain con T es uh, pintura. Yeah. Okay, good. Eh, como por ejemplo, no podemos contar la arena, sand, water, and many things that we cannot count. Okay, good. Ready for the next one? Ready. Okay. Good. I have a question. Okay. Go ahead, Jorge. Eh, ¿Cuál What? es la diferencia entre... El count non y no count non de a lot of. Porque veo que en los dos se repite. Ajá. Sí, es que en estos eh, dije que a lot of en any lo podemos usar para ambos. Lo podemos usar con los contables y con los no contables. Mm, ok. Ajá. ¿Sí responde su pregunta? Sí, teacher. Thanks. Ok, good. Ok, we're gonna go. Andy, uh, we're gonna, you're going to help me reading. Use how much to ask Use about, about mm -hmm. non count nouns. So we use how much. Para los incontables. Non count nouns, not help me. Ayúdenme. Paint. No, no paint. Time. Time. Like when we say cuánto tiempo falta, and then, then we say how much is how much time is left. Like cuando ponemos un este cronómetro, how much time is left on the timer? So that's uh, time. Oh, we yeah. cannot we can say one hour, two hours, but when we ask in general about time, we cannot count. Okay, so we have paint, wood, salt, sugar, water, coffee, flour, flour, sand, and time. And an example is how much blue paint would you like? Quanta? Mm -hmm. Just a little. Uh -huh. Just a little. Can I can I use just a few? Just mm -hmm. a few? Mm -hmm. No. 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 No Maybe one can. Cuando digo una lata, entonces ahí sí puedo contar la pintura. A lo mejor una lata de pintura. Pero si solo dice el líquido, no puede decir cuánto líquido tiene. 
se puede medir, pero ahí ya es, es diferente. Puede decir, maybe I need one quarter of, of a gallon or something. Oh. But for saying in general, you said just a little. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, your turn. Ayúdenme a leer. How much? How much? You can read blue, how much blue, blue paint, paint would, would you like? Would you, would you like? Would you like? Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Maybe one. Maybe one. Can. Can. Es una lata, one porque el can is En este caso. Ajá, es un noun. Example. Good. How much okay. paint? <laughs> good. Okay. Are you good with that? You know. It's clear we cannot use it when we cannot uh, when we can count things. It's just when we cannot count things. Lo podemos usar el how much cuando no podemos contarlo. Sí. Good. Yes. Good. Good. I'm gonna go to the next one. Now, actually, you can help me. What another question using any word of this one? Which other question can we use? Can we make? ¿Qué otra pregunta podríamos hacer con how much usando, usando este, una palabra de estas? Ayuden. How much salt uh -huh. eh, uh -huh. do you want? Ajá, uh -huh. how much salt? Salt. Uh -huh. La L como que no suena y este es como una O. Salt. Oh, salt. salt. Uh -huh. Do you want? Do you want? Uh -huh. Do you want? Ahí yeah. puede usar just a pinch. Solo una pizca. Solo un poquito. Uh -huh. Just a pinch. Or what other do can we use? Can we use just a few? Or can we use many? No. Or can we use a lot of? A lot of. Uh -huh. I want a lot of salt, actually. I like lot salt. Of, lot of. A lot of salt. Mm -hmm. can, can I say I want much salt? Yeah. No se puede decir no. much. Much es más que todo para pregunta, no. pero I have too much salt or too much sugar, too much flour. So uh, flour, I, you can use it there. Or I can say, I don't want any salt. No quiero nada, nada de sal. Good. Okay, another one. What can we do on the on the next one? What about with uh, uh, water? How much, how much flour do you need for the recipe? Mm -hmm. How much water do you need for the recipe? And what can we use? We can say um, a little or a lot of water, a little water. Lotta. So we can use uh -huh, not much. There we can use it, not much, or I don't need any. But any, we use it when it is negative. I don't need any water. Good. Good. Okay, now you are ready. We can move to the next one. Now it says, we are going to use how many to ask about many. count nouns. Los nombres que podemos contar. And count nouns are oranges, mm -hmm. apartments, houses, schools, mm -hmm. and we were talking about that and so on. Podemos seguir. Podemos mm -hmm. seguir con windows, uh, um, beds, uh, tables, chairs, and many others. Okay, and then we have example. How many pairs of shoes do you have? <laughs> I have a few, about 50. Okay. Just so, a few. <laughs> just a few. <laughs> yeah. So, a few, about a few. few. That's a few. So, yeah. Players, it's a few. <laughs> yeah, I just I need more. I would like to have more, but anyways, I don't wear them. Okay, so this is 
how many and how many we use with countable nouns. Con cosas que okay. podemos contar. Mm -hmm. And then the question is just, I have a few, about 50. So, and then we can go back to the next, to the previous one. And then I use a few because are nouns that I can count. And I can say I have too many, too many. But when I said too many, is mm -hmm. like, if I, I use too many, too many is with double, oops. With double O, I have too double many o. shoes. Mm -hmm. Too many so, shoes. Yeah. I'm trying to. You never move. have a too many shoes. That's true. <laughs> and I think men never have too many uh, electronics. They love electronics. Electronics are dice. Yeah. Okay, there I have. So when I write, I want to write like uh, here. I, I have too many, uh, many mm -hmm. pairs of shoes. Bueno. Bueno. Mm -hmm. So too many. When I, I can use many because is countable and I have to use too many. But too many significa demasiados pares de zapatos. Or I don't have too many. I Or I don't have any. I can use any. Okay, good. Okay, any questions about this? No. No? Okay. So now help me doing some questions with uh, how many. And I'm going to ask people who haven't participated and they're kind of shy today. <laughs> I think. Well, I don't like to call people because I like you to participate and, and, and do it by yourself. Edgardo, I think Edgardo is ashamed. Uh, it is shy today. <laughs> Edgardo, can you make a, a question with how question with how many, please? <clears throat> Your mic is off. <laughs> Podría repetirme la pregunta de nuevo, por favor. Um, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Puede hacer una pregunta con how many, puede usar cualquiera de estas palabras o una palabra que usted quiera. Oh, ok, um, how many um, you how many orange have you or how many oranges you Okay, I want to write it here. Oops, in the text. How, how many oranges. oranges do you have? Do you? How many oranges do you have? So we use how many, usamos el how many, y después le podemos agregar el noun. And remember that we have to use the auxiliary verb, do, and the subject, and the verb. How many oranges do you have? En las oraciones siempre tenemos que usar, en este caso tenemos how many, que es el inicio de la oración, el nombre, y nunca debemos de olvidarnos del verbo auxiliar y y del sujeto y el verbo. Siempre tiene que llevar para que esté completo. Muy bien. Good job. How many oranges do you have? How many oranges do you have? I don't have any orange, actually. Oh, um, without oranges. Okay. <laughs> Good. So, what did we do today? What did we learn? Did you learn something today or not? 
Yes, Yusuf, how many, how much? How many, how much? And we have a review of there is, there are, and quantifiers. And prepositions. And prepositions, good. Uh -huh. How many did you yeah. study for your career? Or for my major. I went to college for five years. That was a lot. I wouldn't go back, actually. I wanted to be a nurse. I think I'm going to go back and then I'm going to be a nurse. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, I really love nursing, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Okay. <laughs> How many glasses of water do you drink every day or during the day? I think I drink just a few, <laughs> like two or three. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you so much. Gracias por estar en la clase and participate. See you tomorrow. And then we're going to be on vacation. Probably you are happy about that you will have to work on the platform. So después vamos a estar en vacaciones. Mañana será el último día. Van a estar en una semana de vacaciones para que trabajen en la plataforma. Si yes. no lo han hecho. Oh, oh. 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 Sí. Sí. But thank you so much for working hard. Okay, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.